less spicy than I thought. Oh wait, at the end. Oh wow. In today's episode, we're going to explore Chinatown in Singapore. Let's go. Welcome back to our channel. My name is Jordi and this is Hekyo. Two years ago, we quit our jobs and left our home in South Korea to do one of the things we like the most, to travel. We have been backpacking for the past two years and we still didn't get tired. Maybe it's because instead of rushing to sightseeing spots, we prefer to travel slow, stay as long as we can in a place and learn how life is there. Rather than as visitors, we prefer to experience new places as locals. We don't plan much ahead and we are always welcoming new opportunities. One of these opportunities was spending a few weeks in a city that we always wanted to visit. Well, not just visiting, but to experience the daily life. Welcome to our new series. We are the Lifetime Travel Mates, and this is living in Singapore for one month. Guys, we are not gonna lie to you. When we finally decided we were going to stay in Singapore for a month, the thing that excited us the most was the food. Singapore might not have natural resources, but it is one of the most amazing mix of cultures in the world, and that is reflected in its cuisine. If you like trying different foods from the world, well, Singapore will not disappoint you. On this series, we explore not only the city, but we also go deep into its food culture. You might have heard about the hawker centers. On today's video, we are going to visit Chinatown Complex Food Center. Chinatown in Singapore is located in the central area. Historically, it was an enclave with different Chinese cultural origins like Hokkien, Tochu, Cantonese, Hakka and more. Nowadays, Chinatown is more an area with important national heritage sites telling part of the history of Singapore. As all Chinatowns in the world, it's a popular place for tourists to get not only some cultural insight, but also buy some souvenirs and try different Chinese foods. Walking around the streets of Chinatown, one can experience an immersion, mixing tradition and modernity. You might feel a bit lost with all those shops and restaurants. So many to choose from, right? But we're gonna make things easy for you. Since you cannot eat souvenirs, start going to the food center and look for some delicious dishes. Get ready because we're gonna try one of the best foods here in Chinatown. The Chinatown complex is conveniently located in the center of Chinatown, right in front of the popular Tooth Relic Temple. Don't worry, we are going to show you that later, after the food. The complex was under renovations for a few months and reopened in June of 2019. Hundreds of food stalls there welcome you with mouth-watering dishes. Among one of our favorites and a must-try is the Tungo Lamian Xiaolong Bao. Yes, we can speak Chinese. No, not really. We just used Google Translate and pasted this. And listen to the pronunciation. Close enough, right? This place recommended by Michelin Guide serves great value for money handmade Xiaolong Bao, the popular Chinese steamed buns. And one of our favorites, the Shezuan spicy wonton. <sighs> Another 
Another must try in the Chinatown complex is the Hawker Chan soya sauce chicken. This popular hawker became famous for being the world's first hawker Michelin star meal in the world, and also the cheapest Michelin star meal in the world. The place started in 2009 and received the prestigious award in 2016. Since then, tourists and locals queue long lines to try the soya sauce marinated chicken and rice or noodle and their other dishes like the roast pork with rice or noodles. We didn't want to miss the chance to have some of this acclaimed chicken, plus probably is one of the few Michelin star foods in the world that we can afford. with some soy sauce and I think, I guess this is ginger. Oh wow. They're juicy inside. Kind of tender, a bit thin outside. A bit kind of dry maybe because we waited a bit too much. But I think it's a dry again. I prefer the spicy one. It's like the more you eat, the more you want. Good choice. It was 6.5 Singapore dollars. It was fine. Pretty good, right? Honestly, okay, the food is very good. The price is also amazing. But I think it's very high. I mean, look at this line. Is it worth to wait these lines? I don't know. Maybe there are other places with similar foods. And maybe if you do a blind tasting, you cannot tell the difference. I don't know. I'm just saying it doesn't taste that different from other uh, rice and chicken places that we've tried. Uh, the thing is, it's cheap. It's cheap, but other places it's cheap as well. So the Michelin star gives a lot of uh, hype or fame or whatever you want to call it. But probably next to the Michelin star, there's a place that nobody's going and could be as good as the one with the Michelin star. I don't know, maybe I'm saying something controversial right now because people have so exquisite palette and can tell the difference between the one with Mission on Star and the one without. But to be honest, you know, the psychologically the lines play a, a important role when you have to choose something like, oh, if there's people, it means it's good. Probably it's good, of course. But how good is over other normal ones around here? We'll see. You will have to come to Singapore to try it and tell us maybe. Or if you already tried, leave a comment. What about the wontons? About the wontons? There was also some line. Maybe I wait five minutes. It's very good. I mean, totally worth the price. Five dollars. Singaporean dollars. For this, uh, there were ten of them and there were ten Shalom Bao. Yeah, you have to eat this. I mean, it's really good. It's a good price. If you have to wait one hour for it, Maybe it goes somewhere else. Well, we haven't tried the other one, so that's the thing. We are already influenced by all the media and press and everybody is saying how good is this one. Anyway, we ate pretty well for a good price. I think we need a dessert. We're gonna try to find some ice cream. We're quite cold, but you know, we always have space for dessert. And we have this ice cream. 
Sendol is a popular dessert in Southeast Asian countries. It's quite common to find Sendol stalls in hawker centers in all Singapore. We had never tried this before, so since we were there, we had to try it. We are those kind of people that we don't ask much what's in the food, so we don't know what's in the Sendol. But this guy working here, of course he knows. <laughs> Coconut milk. Oh wow. That's red beans. We use Japanese azuki beans. This is made from the pandan leaves. So we will blend the leaves, extract the color and the flavor. Then we blend them, we mix them with some rice flour. And lastly, there's some palm sugar. Awesome. And while we were enjoying that sweet, soft, and cold sandal, we didn't stop thinking of all the other tasty dishes around us in the Chinatown complex. But with our stomachs pretty full, it was time to walk outside and explore more the streets and the people of Chinatown. This five-story temple built in 2007 is known for its extensive collections of Buddhist culture, art and history. Visitors can marvel at an impressive array of Buddhist relics and visit the museum to learn more about the Buddhist culture. There are also guided tours in different languages and lots of events, ceremonies and festivals. If that's not enough, in addition to a temple and a museum, it also has a tea house and a theater. Make sure you check the official website in the link on the description down below. Thanks for watching. If you like this episode, help us and click the like button and subscribe. Don't forget the notification bell so you won't miss any episode. Leave a comment with your opinion, questions, ideas, whatever you want. You can also support this channel by buying Lifetime Travel Mates merchandising. You can find a big variety of products designed by ourselves and inspired by our travel stories. Make sure you check the link on the description. And if you like the music on this episode, we use Epidemic Sound for all our videos. It's an amazing tool for video creators to find the right soundtrack, background music, and sound effects. You can get 30 days free trial following the link on the description down below. Again, thanks for watching and see you on the next one. Bye, Chinatown! Bye, Chinatown! Hello, Hector!